So, my name is Nigel. What's your name? Callum. Callum. Nice meeting you, Callum. And, you? and uh, one question for you. What are your thoughts on the afterlife? Well, uh, my thoughts on the afterlife, to mm. be fair. I'm, I don't really believe in the afterlife. Like, if anything, I, want, I would like to believe that I'll turn into an animal. Okay, so you're on the reincarnation side? Yeah, yeah. Reincarnation, okay. And uh, why did you choose for reincarnation? What made you make that decision? I just like animals, to be fair. And if, I was, if there was an afterlife, then I'd probably be an animal. It's okay, the and what one. kind of an animal? Because uh, me, I like hunting. If you come back as a... Probably, probably like, I don't know. We eat impalas. Could they have you for dinner? So make <laughs> Pro probably like I don't know a tiger or a lion. A tiger or a lion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the option of heaven? Would uh, you not want to be in heaven? The option. I don't really believe in like heaven and hell. Okay. But if heaven was going to be real, then I'd I'd like to believe it's all pearly white gates and all that then yeah, I'd, I'd like to go to heaven. You'd like to go to heaven? Okay. Yeah. And uh, y have you ever read the Bible? No. You've never read the Bible? Uh, only, only when I was in school. Because it's the one of the books that speaks about heaven. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you, w w what do you think one must do to be in heaven then? I don't know. Just have uh, like a good life. Like like good life. Make sure they do good by people around them and the do family you, members. Do you believe there's God? No. No? No. Okay, where, where do you think we came from? Evolution. Uh, okay, evolution, okay. See, I'm uh, an evolution believer. Evolution like, believer. I believe science. Uh -huh. Than just some, th like, no offence to anybody that, yeah, yeah. like, reads the Bible or whatever, but to me, my opinion is, like, was the Bible actually written mm. by Jesus? Okay, uh, what I wanted to say, uh, I was going to say, is it okay if I want to marry a six-year-old? No. Why is it not right? Because that is, that is literally two years off a toddler. Two years off a toddler. Okay, so I can't even have sex with her even at nine? No. It's wrong. Because that's, that's, still a, that's still a child. Okay. Even it... 13, even though it's a teenager, no, it's still not okay. Okay. Because I believe, yeah, uh -huh. if, but over here anyway. You, okay, so you, why do you, you say it's be not six, right? Why do you say it's not right? to be fair, you've got to be 16, like, to even make your own decisions. But like, before 16, yeah. you've got to get your mum and dad or, or guardians uh -huh. to ring the doctors, to ring the dentist for you, to make an appointment. So if you can't even do that, then what's saying you you that person is able to give a confident enough answer to mm. the, that question. Okay, so uh, you know about Hitler? Died a long time? Oh, yeah, Hitler. Okay, you Hitler, also know Hitler, about yeah. Mother Teresa? M uh, Mother Teresa? Yeah. Uh, not so much. But she was a good person in the eyes of many people? Yeah. Yeah, both of them, you think they are in the same place? Mm, I don't really know Mother Teresa, so I, I can't really give an answer because if I was to say yes, then uh -huh. like obviously Hitler was well, like really, really bad. Like he committed okay. genocide on Jews, mm -hmm. and I don't really know what she did. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, people okay. seen so them as good people in their own eyes. If you die, do you see yourself as one who deserves to spend your eternity in the same place that Hitler is? No. Why not? Because I, I, I haven't done what he's done. Like, what he did, like, is So, so who, who, is, who is deciding where these people are going? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's no God, but there's a place where we go. And someone is in charge of that place. The, the, like, for, for, for me, the realistic answer is the person who puts you in the ground or puts you in the thing to burn you and turn you into ashes. That's, you decide what happens to you. So yeah, you're only And the other person just has to follow through with that and do it. 
Okay, so in short, there is no. But gap. after, mm. I don't know what happens because I've never experienced it, and I've never asked anybody who's experienced actually. Well, obviously, you can't talk to someone who's dead, so yeah. they can't tell you okay. what it, I, I, where I, they are. Okay, I'll finish with this. The Bible, I read the Bible, I'm a follower of Jesus. Now, I respect everyone's opinion. Yeah, yeah. Some people must uh, believe in uh, as atheists, they don't believe in anything and all that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I like to share what I have come to know. So, this is what I've come to know God is real. There is a place that has been prepared for those who love Him. It's called heaven. Now, God, knowing that all of us we have sinned, yeah. and he gave us moral laws mm. when we look at these moral laws all of us we come short we have all lied we have all committed adultery watch porn I mean I used to be one of the biggest sinners you know mm. I, I used to do bad things yeah yeah now well, our, our smoke and uh, uh, yeah we all have done something yeah. wrong so God sent us a gift mm. Jesus is when we celebrate Christmas and all that it reminds us of a gift that came yeah for, to die for humanity so Jesus is the only way to spend eternity in heaven if you choose to put your trust in what he did on the cross that he died for your sins if you believe that message with all your heart and you turn from your wicked ways that is to start living for him mm. following him yeah. because he's the greatest example the Bible says you are born again and you will make it so going to heaven should you want to be with Jesus turn from your yeah. wicked ways put your trust in what he did this thing about reincarnation, religions, Islam, Buddhism, and all that does not have a savior. The only savior is the one who died on the cross. You can believe that or you can choose to say no. Now, before you go, I want to say this to you. Looking at you, I believe you are different. God has wired you to do things that no other man can do. <laughs> you are unique in your own way. And I pray that you use your gifts and your talents to push what God has prepared for you before you came to this world. Yes. There is an assignment. There is a purpose to life. You are not just here to work, make money. God, one day, will ask you, what did you do with the gifts that I gave you? Do you remember when I saved you in that place? Do you remember where I delivered you? You could have died. You could have lost your life. Mm. But I came for you. I was yeah. giving you signs. Until one day you met this tall dude, you black guy, tall, and you are speaking to him and he's saying, hey, <laughs> come to God, because God is a purpose. So I'll show you one Bible verse, and uh, hopefully it will encourage you to go and read your Bible. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll go to the book of Jeremiah. It's freezing, isn't it? Oh, it is cold. Hey, it's Jeremiah. Cold. Okay, if you look at Jeremiah, chapter uh, 29. Hallelujah. Verse number 11. Let's start from verse number 11. We read three verses. Okay, what does he say? Oh, he put me on the spot now. <laughs> okay, I can read it out if you want me to read it out loud. But I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Faith so God Lord. is saying, I know the thoughts that I think thoughts towards you, Callum. Uh -huh. Not of evil. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an unexpected end. So God wants to give you an expected end. What he had already prepared for you, that's what he wants to give you. Yeah. What is good for you. Uh -huh. Then then shall ye call upon me, and uh -huh. ye shall go and pray upon me, and I will hearken upon you. And uh, Yeah, and so this is the English uh, King James Version. He says, you shall call on me, and you shall go and pray. As you pray to me, I will hear you. And I'll answer you. Uh huh. Continue. And yes, shall seek me, and find me when ye shall search for me, with all your heart. So he finishes by saying, when you shall search for me, look for me with all your heart, you shall find me. At the moment, uh, you are like uh, the millions of people who are living uh, their lives without God. Uh, I said one last verse, but let this one be the last one, because it's very important. Uh, I'll go to the book of. Oh, ba, 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 ba. X. Uh, do you have any questions as I'm talking to you? Um, no, no. No? Okay. So, God instructs some of us who are already believers. He says, go on the streets to open their eyes and to turn them from, the, from darkness to light and from the power of Satan that they turn to God. 
that they may also receive forgiveness of sins and then inheritance among them who are sanctified by faith that is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So God wants you also to be delivered from the power of darkness. Yes. So that you come into the light. Now, I've ministered to you, when are you going to make a decision to follow Jesus? <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'll have to give it an uh, overnight think. An overnight think. Yeah. Okay, I pray you don't die before you make that overnight thing. Oh, no. no. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's why I say for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want you to die before you make that decision. Oh, no. People die every day. Sometimes yeah. you don't need to be sick to die. No. So, uh, not to put you on the spot, uh, do you have a Bible? I do, yes. Do somewhere. Have, somewhere. Somewhere. In my Man, cupboard. you even have a Bible and you're not reading it. In, in my cupboard somewhere. Uh, it's like me giving you uh, a map and I say, hey, as soon as you get to my home, if you check in that place, you're going to find 10 grand. Go shopping. So you've got a map, but you're never reading it. The map that will lead you into heaven, into everlasting life, into many promises of God. Well, yeah. You have this map. Now you put it all that. Yeah, I'm going to get the Bible out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if there's no question. Nice talking to you, man. And I hope I made your day a uh, good Thank day. You. Yeah, Thank I'll take you. the mic. Yeah. So respect, man. Andrew. Yeah? You got the channel, so yeah, yeah. you can watch it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely we have received, freely we give. Arise and shine.